slum is the term that the uh, industry and boat owners use to describe uh, biofilms, which are slimy substances that grow on immersed surfaces. It comes in all sorts of shades and colours. Um, they can include bacteria, they can include mic microalgae such as cyanobacteria and diatoms. They secrete this sticky matrix of extra polymeric substances, EPS for short. All foul and control coatings on all vessel types will have some slime. But in recent years, slime has become a hot topic in the industry. Not only will you have different biofilms uh, in different parts of the world, you'll have different biofilms and different parts of even your vessel. Where it's possible, I will try and go out and sample a vessel and just try and get an idea of how biofilms change uh, across vessels, across different areas, across different operational profiles, and across different coatings. So there's a, there's a whole variety of things that we have to look at. This part is uh, light on the over. Okay, very light. Got it. What you might find at the waterline could be drastically different than what you'd find on the flat bottom of your ship. Um, and this diversity is what makes it such an extreme challenge to address. When you're developing a coating, you might think that one of the smart ways to do it is to go back to a specific organism and look at a very specific adhesion mechanism of that particular type of organism. The challenge with biofilms is that there's such a diversity within the biofilms themselves that focusing on one particular target might leave you open to colonization by all sorts of other species. There's all sorts of adaptability that makes um, a pragmatic approach to coding development equally important to a fundamental approach. We have people who are skilled at doing polymer development. We have people who are very skilled at taking raw materials and developing into a paint, what we call paint chemists really. So putting the paint together so it performs in a completely different way. People who are involved with um, testing of the paint in terms of on vessels and things like that, who are in different locations around the world, in Singapore, in China, in Dubai, the major yards for applying uh, Farrell's type products. We have marine biologists on this site. We do bioassay testing, which involves in the lab growing different species of fouling on the panels, testing settlement and release. And we've scaled that all the way up to doing things like test patching, so small test patches on a vessel of say 25 square meters up to full vessels where we might apply 3,000 square meters on a vessel and then measure the performance of that. If you want to look at how a new technology is used to measure biofouling accumulation on a vessel, then you have a specific objective there. We're looking at if we can use uh, different types of metrics to come up with um, a better measure of coating performance against biofilms as opposed to the, the more traditional uh, visual assessments. Can we get more quantitative so that we can refine our analyses of infield performance of new and existing technologies? The scale of this problem is obviously global, so, so any collaborations with external partners just multiply the, the impact of any work that we do. We're working with Sultan Kobas University in Oman to accurately determine how much slime and diatoms and bacteria is on the coating. But also in terms of testing, we use Newcastle University for measuring drag on, on coatings. We have a long relationship with them. The uh, speciality with the flume, first of all, it circulates salt water and you can do uh, all sorts of measurement in, in realistic condition. And the second thing is uh, you can develop actually the flow condition and which is uh, very similar to the real flow condition in terms of the regime. We are uh, very pleased and proud actually providing expertise to international paint because it's helping the uh, uh, shipping community and uh, improving the performance of ships uh, by providing this expertise.
trust methodologies that we've started to put in place through this project are continuing to develop and will do over the next years, both internally and in partnership with external experts. Mm -hmm.